the fact that he did it with a Napoli, the fact that he did it with a team that not won since freaking 1990, that is a degree of difficulty. That's dot complete. In 10, 15, 20 years time, if Osime goes into Naples, he's not paying for anything. I'm not sure whether he realizes. I'm not sure whether Vic, <laughs> Vic, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what the man, man, I don't, I don't know whether he realizes what he's done because then someone sent me a vid and it's basically like this was obviously after not, not play have won and then um, he's pretty much, he's on, um, he's on an Insta live with Balotelli. And then they're just talking, 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 talking. And then Balotelli says, you don't realize what you've done. You think you do, but you don't. And it says that's only like in five, ten years time will you realize what you've actually done. Um, and I think even for me, I was like, boom, but like, I was just thinking about this last night. And I was like, because I've got to bring it to the Nigerian angle. Okay, look, Nigerian, Nigeria have taken a lot of L's. L for not even qualifying for the freaking World Cup. L in our whole election process and, and everything. We've taken a lot of L's. And I think this this is a huge W. This is a do this is a well deserved W for Nigeria after all of the L's that we've taken. And for Osmi, I don't think you realize what you've done because for me, I'm just thinking about okay, what Kano and Fididi George did with the Ajax in '95, what Kano did with Arsenal, what Obi Mikel did with Chelsea. Um, I'm Okocha's stature in PSG and for Bolton. None of them equates to what Osima has done. Because think about this. I think this is his second season. Second or third season, I think. Top scorer. Most goals scored by an African player in the Syria. More than George Weah. More than Samuel Etso, two of the greatest strikers of all time. And your goals were pivotal in helping Napoli win their third only Scudetto in history. And what was so fitting, it was the perfect story. He scored the goal that clinched it. He scored the goal that clinched it. So, for us, I don't, do you realize what you've done? Because I think what Balotelli was trying to say is that Balotelli is Italian. And Balotelli knows Italian culture. And even for me, who have, you know, been going to school with Italians, doing some Italians and so forth, is the way that they will appreciate him is crazy. In 10, 15, 20 years time, if Osime goes into Naples, he's not paying for anything. He's, Osime will never have to pay for anything whatsoever. And I remember... And maybe because the video is actually on my on my channel, if, if you guys will see it, the videos on my channel, where I interviewed this Napoli fan, and I'll just say to, to to him like, no, I wouldn't mean if you guys will win because this was a month prior, and I was like, bro, it'll be huge, and he even said that whatever happens with Osime and so forth, you will be legends. So if you leave, you leave. Now, him leaving, De Laurenti said that it's going to be not one cup less than one fifty mil. So he said even if they leave. You're still going to be heroes. So, Osman, I don't think you realize that this isn't winning for an Inter, an AC Milan, a Roma, or Juventus. Winning, because I think they've said that this is the first time since 1990 that the Scudetto has won by a team south of Italy. So, it's either won by someone from Rome, Milan, or to Turin. So nobody south of the border and everything south of it that I've ever said what's up. So those guys near, near, near the north, central or the, or the north. But and I and for me, just as a Nigerian, you know, you see, I'm not gonna bring the whole super eagles angle here because I'm like, no, this is this is Osimen's moment here. Because I've been saying that okay, why couldn't you do this for blah blah? There are larger issues that work at the super eagles. So as a Nigerian, I've got to be proud. I've got to be I've got to be freaking proud, man, you know. Um, I mean, we've had some strikers, Amunike, Amokachi, Kano Wanko, Agaoa. Um, we've had guys. Well, I'm, I'm not naming him, no. I'm, I'm not naming the guy from 2010. I'm not naming him. 
And so for me, it is exciting to see what he's, he's done. And my thing, though, is, okay, fair enough. They really pop up for the Super Eagles. But what you've done is huge. Because he wears his, his he wears the country on his sleeves and he always talks about where he, he, he came from. And I believe, again, unless Twitter is true, I believe they say he's from Edo State, which is where my dad is from. So, you know, Edo boys, you know, Benin Edo boys, you know. So... But for is an Nigerian, this 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 is a proud moment because his achievement is outstanding. It is an outstanding achievement, and I think it is he has achieved in this season. He's achieved more than any Nigerian player in history because you can say, okay, Obi Mikel, okay, but first of all, you're not actually playing your strongest position. Yeah, your role was key, but let's be real, the key to us Chelsea team was really um, Drogba. Czech, Terry, Lampard, and so forth. Those are the real kids, and of course, M- Mourinho. You look at Kanawanko, okay, he did this thing for Arsenal, but when you look at, when people talk about Arsenal, they say Henri, they say Bergkamp, they say Vieira, then you have Tony Adam, Seaman, and then of course you have Benga. And when you look at that Ajax team, yeah, if you needed George and Kanawanko, they, they, they were there, but really, that Ajax team, it was really the collective. It was really about the collective. There wasn't really the standout guy. Obviously, you had, you had a Litzman and they're doing his thing. Who was the elder statesman? But it was really that collective one. Really, do you know? Be real, because there were so young people. Really look at Van Hal as really the star. Now, of course, Kivicha was huge, and I think Kivicha has been one of the most all-round in terms of all-round best players in the world this season. So Kivicha has definitely has been key, but the without Osimhen's goals, Napoli doesn't even come close. And I think what was so key because people were like, okay, Kivicha, Osimhen, Kivicha, Osimhen. When Osimhen was injured, and it was all down to Kikivicha, they struggled. And they actually hit a brick wall when Osimhen was not on, on the pitch. So that's how you knew how important he was to, to the team. Kikivicha is, is, is an outstanding player. But make no mistake, if you have to, because you, you, I always want to put team first, but if you have to put a face of who, you have to put a face of this um, season for Napoli. Who is the face? Not counting the manager because Spalletti is hugely important because that is the real tactician who actually sets the whole team off. So without Spalletti, we don't even have this conversation. But if you just had to say which player, if you had to choose a player that is the face of this Napoli success, it's Osimhen. Top scorer in the league, scored when it mattered. The variety of the goals he he scored, his performances has now meant that he's now going to be the one of the number one attackers this summer. And it was fitting that it was when they were one zero down. And they're like, oh my gosh, what is going to happen? It was his goal, very well taken goal, that finally sealed the deal. So it was the perfect ball, you know, the perfect icing on the cake on what has been an outstanding season for Rosima, you know. So for me, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud. Like, literally, all I've been doing yesterday and on today is just I've, just, I've been on this Insta, I've been on Twitter, and I've just been just looking at just the images, the videos, and so forth. And I'm going to, I will continue to, to, to do that because, <laughs> like, also, I don't think you understand. The party ain't over yet. <laughs> like, look, because I cannot wait to see, because I think their next game, I believe is a home game. So when they, first of all, when they go to Naples, it's going to pop up. <laughs> when they go to Naples, it's going to pop off. When they actually play their next match at Syria, it's going to pop off at the Maradona Stadium. Then the actual trophy procession at the end of the season is going to be, look, Naples is just going to be madness. Naples will be absolutely madness, man. So, it is what he's done has been completely and totally outstanding. It's been totally outstanding what Osima has done. And and here's the thing. He's going to leave. Again, if he leaves, it's going to have to be for at least 150. In 150, take it or, or, or leave it. And you are most likely... Because it's interesting though, because we're now assuming Kane goes to United. So, for Osima, it's like, hmm, where does he go? Are we saying Bayern Munich? But Dubai have 150. Chelsea, <laughs> if FFP can allow them to have 150. But so it's actually going to be interesting to see where he now goes. Because I was assuming United. But if that's already with Kane, then I don't know. But wherever he goes, wherever he goes and does anything, and let's say he goes to, let's say, a Bayern, a Real Madrid, Chelsea, and wins UCL's league titles, nothing he will ever do in his career will mean as much as what he did this season and, that, and that's the crazy thing he can win ucl's league titles he can win now of course okay 
a World Cup for Nigeria now. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, World Cup for Nigeria. Aside. But aside from a World Cup for Nigeria, nothing will mean more than what he's done for Napoli. And I and I just don't think he he does not realize it yet. He doesn't. Because I think it will and that's what Balotelli was saying. This is something that is going to be a long time where like people will name their babies Osime. People will name their babies, their, their kids, Victor. People will probably say, okay, I know you were called Luigi, but we're not changing him from Luigi to Victor. So guys in Naples, their names will not be changed. So, sorry, sorry, Papa, my name is now um, Vic, so on, and everything. Um, and yeah, look, but I just have to say I'm, 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 I'm proud of the guy. Man. As a Nigerian striker, after because let's be real, Nigeria had a golden age from like the late nineties, you know, Olise, Babayaro, Amunike, Mokachi, all, all these kind of guys that were actually you can't work with the all, all in top clubs. Then we just had a total barren spell. And we've had a barren spell for a very, very long, long time. So it's been the basically since Kano, I, since that era of the late nineties and so forth, late nineties, early two thousands, we've not had like a truly world class striker. Osime is a bona fide world class striker who has achieved an incredible feat because I told you I'm the dot guy. So I'm the guy of degree of difficulty. If Osime did it for a Juventus or an Ace, I'm like, oh, it's still good, it's still quality. But the fact that he did it with a Napoli, the fact that he did it with a team that not won since freaking nineteen ninety. That is a degree of difficulty. That's dot complete. Dot complete. He's, so right now, Osime can now say, I am now a card carrying member of the Dodd agency. You know, so um, I wouldn't mind the World Cup. I wouldn't mind a few Afcons. But Osime, man, you've done Napoli proud. You've done Nigeria proud. And you've done your boy Maradona very, very proud. 